there guys, welcome back to the channel. Thanks so much for watching today. Today we are back and we're gonna be going on a little bit of a Funko Pop hunt. We're gonna be heading over to our local outlet mall here and we're gonna be going to a few different stores. One I'm definitely excited to check out with you guys, which would be Chrono Toys. And then we'll also try to stop by over at Hot Topic and Box Lunch and check out if there's anything else. I have some coupons that I can use, so I'll see if maybe run right into any figures that I wanna pick up for the collection. Let's not waste any more time, guys. Let's head out there and let's get hunting. And we have arrived and we are right in front of Chrono Toys. And this place is absolutely huge, right? When you walk in, there's just wall to wall of Funko Pops. And starting up here in the front case, it looks like they have a bunch of different Funko sodas, all $14.99, which is normal, but they have a lot of different kinds like Casey Jones, Baxter Stockman, Mighty Mouse, some of the Christmas ones, George Sanderson, Sorcerer Apprentice Mickey, The Grinch is another great one, Robocop, Frodo Baggins, Silent Bob, and Marty McFly, just so many different cool sodas. And they also have a case of Biddy Pops. Looks like they have the Disney Biddy Pops, and they also have the DC ones. And we come to their huge chase case, where they have a bunch of different pops, like John Lennon, Jim Halpert, Dopey Oswald's pretty cool, Hercules, Superman, the Joker, Red Hulk, and coming to the other side they have a bunch more including a ton of anime ones like some naruto ones baruto as well some Mahio Academia. They also have a few different Spider-Man figures, which is pretty cool to see. Um, Cheshire Cat. They even have the newer Entertainment Earth exclusive Skeleton Stitch. And then you look at the wall behind the counter, just so many different figures. I'm gonna try to see if I can point out a few cool ones. It looks like there's some Marvel figures up top. It looks like some X-Men ones. I really like that Gambit. There's Bishop, which is pretty cool. Polaris. Down a little bit more, it looks like they have the Man Thing from San Diego Comic-Con. They have a ton of really cool Venom figures. It looks like they also have the Black light figures as well but i see venomized thor venomized dr doom thunderbolt and corrupt venom which is one i definitely really lo would love to get someday they have the blue venom which is pretty sweet and the og blade also see some different transformers figures looks like there's bumblebee and tracks both pretty cool ones felix the cat the flocked one from gemini collectibles along with phantom shadow and courage the cowardly dog flock ones i always love to see simpsons there on the bottom belly did homer donut head homer and even auto man kearney and jimbo a whole row of a bunch of different stitch pops they have aloha stitch stitching cubs monster stitch a flock stitch skeleton stitch which is new just a bunch of really adorable ones some cool dc ones like the joker there's the 66 robin which is great some of the black eyed ones like batman and harley quinn specter there's a san diego comic-con underwater batman and then there's some blue box star wars ones down there at the end looks like we have some sports ones up at the top where you have some of the team usa ones and it ton of different michael jordan pops there's so many of them a few cool rare rocks pops like amy winehouse ed sheeran travis barker and mark hoppus from blink 182 which is great and jay balvin a couple other cool ones there is wallace wells from scott pilgrim some universal monsters ones the goonies looks like in the bottom they have boar rats some space jam ones including the chase taz and that twisted bonnie looks pretty cool looks like they have a number of papa asia figures like some of the kung fu panda ones along with some other ones i have never seen before it's pretty interesting now time for the big grail case they have a bunch of different cool ones like a couple different freddy funkos tron and optimus prime freddy funko the glow in the dark gelatinous q from WonderCon. looks like jeremy lynn peyton manning andrew wiggins snoop dogg some pretty cool ones got some anime ones like buff chopper got some fairy tale ones chase one piece figures along with Trafalgar Law with Polar Tang from WonderCon. Next shelf has some really amazing Star Wars ones including Emperor Palpatine, Princess Leia, Lando Calrissian, ones I would love to add to my collection, a bunch of signed Attack on Titan pops, even have some Demon Slayer ones over on the side. And then some DC and Marvel figures that love that Batman Beyond, the Sinestro, there's Miles Morales, looks like the Black Light Hulk, Nightcrawler, and this Doctor Doom is amazing, and to top it, Logan. Oh my gosh, that one is absolutely sick. There's a Hall H Shang-Chi along with Scarlet Witch and a few different Thor figures, some of the earlier Thor figures. But of course, they also have a lot of commons on the shelf. They're more the retail price. So they have some of the Stranger Things figures, including Stranger Things Season 3, like Steve, Robin, Eleven, some really great figures along with Season 4 ones. They have a ton of different Stranger Things. There is a whole wall of Pokemon figures. I am kind of surprised on how many Pokemon figures have been made so far. It looks like they're getting some restocks of the WandaVision 
Vision figures, like Halloween Vision, 50s Vision. I wonder if they have the Chase somewhere. Some other Scarlet Witch figures, some Doctor Strange ones down from there too. Of course, different Spider-Man ones, so Spider-Man No Way Home, all three Spider-Man, the finale suit is my favorite. They even have the new Webman from Entertainment Earth. Some different Disney pops on the shelf too. Baby Pegasus, we have Hercules, there's Dopey, which is great. Sebastian from Entertainment Earth, some of the newer Little Mermaid pops too, an older Beast, and then some other Lilo and Stitch figures. Also ran into some Sonic the Hedgehog pops, like Sonic with Ring with Emerald Cloud. Classic Sonic, Shadow, and Silver. And they also have a lot of the Five Nights at Freddy's figures for retail. And then I did see they have some of the new Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Mutant Mayhem Pops. Definitely really cool to see. Super pumped for the movie. Now something I don't collect, but these are tempting me. There's the Squishmallows for Sonic the Hedgehog. And now here's some of the bigger figures they have, like two packs and stuff. There's Cart Titan, the Final Selection guys, Hashirama and Toby Rama two pack. They have the four pack of the Marvel Blacklight. Down here is the three pack of the four ghosts pops pretty cool katanagi twins from scott pilgrim some pretty interesting ones some other bigger deluxe pops for some anime fans we have aaron harton which is newer female titan glow in the dark some of the one piece ones like big mom hungry big mom with honies and child big mom there's also some of the bigger naruto ones like naruto and kamakichi and naruto nine tails now while we're here let's take a stop over at hot topic and right when you walk in it looks like we ran into the new spongebob and patrick two pack this thing looks great here on the funko wall looks like i have a ton of newer figures i see the new obi-wan from the obi-wan kenobi series they have senga from inuyasha panda from jujitsu kaisen there's shinki from the new boruto wave there's roy ken from ted lasso loving that there's also the hot topic exclusive indiana jones and marion ravenwood which is one i would love to pick up looks like got some interview with the vampire and yellowstone pops trigun is another one first time running into some blue beetle pops where they have blue beetle himself along with jaime reyes and there's also the villain of the film conrad carapac and then we're going to make one final stop at box lunch their funko wall is not as large as hot topics but they do have some cool stuff it looks like they have mount lady from the new my Hero Academia Wave, Ding Dong's Pop is really fun. It looks like Princess Slayer, Sadara, Luke Skywalker from the Return of the Jedi Wave, uh, some more Inuyasha and Trigon figures. Down here, they do have some of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle figures there. Looks like some of the McDonald's Pops. There's the Grand Inquisitor from Obi-Wan Kenobi. That thing looks great. There's also Obi-Wan and Reva, the third sister. First time seeing this, the Toucan Sam from Fruit Loops. Really am loving this pop. It's an awesome new ad icon one. Don't remember them announcing it, but I'm so glad we found it. There's Wendy from Peter Pan. There's some of the Witcher figures like Geralt right here. And then some interesting restocks like Carnage. There is the Blue Eyes Toon Dragon. And then down here, it looks like they do have some more WandaVision. And then they do have some sodas, including the new Jaime Reyes Blue Beetle soda. I was a walk out when I noticed this pop candy of Wonder Woman. I remember them announcing it, but have not seen it in person. But that's how it looks, just candy and a little Wonder Woman clear pop. All right, guys, and we are back from our hunt and we did get something to take away from today's hunt so there was a lot of stuff in chrono toys that i would have loved to pick up especially behind the whole behind that wall i asked about a few things that i saw there like there was that og silver surfer there were a few different disney pops i really loved i think there was the flocked felix the cat and the flocked curse the cowardly dog that i was really interested in too I wanted to walk away with maybe one or two pops today didn't want to go overboard but I did find one pop that I definitely needed to walk away with today. And I found that over at Box Lunch. And so we have our bag right here from Box Lunch. And this figure is definitely super cool. And I actually have not seen Funko officially announce this one yet. But I'm so glad we were able to get it. This is the brand new ad icon to Can Sam of the Fruit Loops fame. But man, guys, this thing is such a cool looking pop. I love the design of this, and it's been quite a few years since we've gotten a Toucan Sam figure before, so it's definitely about time they made one. And the box itself is really cool. I love the design and, like, the multiple colors they have all over, just like Toucan Sam's nose and all of the different Fruit Loops. And there it says Fruit Loops on the back. Now, this figure is definitely pretty big. I'm super surprised they're able to fit it into the regular box. Funko could have made this a bigger pop, but I'm so glad they made it a normal size one. But the detail on this thing is amazing. I love the stripes on his nose, on his beak. The way he has his mouth open too, like he's smiling. It looks like he's flying in the air. He's on that big stand, one of the bigger stands 
I have seen for a regular four inch pop. And he even has his wings out to the side like he's flapping. And Toucan Sam is just flying around, following his nose, trying to find those colorful Fruit Loops. Just such a fun and unique pop. And I'm really glad that we added this one to the collection. There's actually a lot of really cool ad icon figures that are coming and I've just recently at stores. Funko's always doing a really good job with the ad icon pop. So Funko, if you wanna keep them coming, keep them coming if they're gonna be the quality of this one right here. Well, there we have it guys. There's our look at today's Funko Pop Hunt. Definitely a lot of figures that we were able to run into today that was pretty cool, but I think we took home a really fantastic new figure to add to the collection. And then of course, as always, I do want to hear from you guys. Let me know if you saw anything during our Funko hunt that really stuck out to you. Is there anything that you would have picked up for your collection? Let me know what your guys' thoughts are on all this in the comments down below. And of course, if you guys have not done so already, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Also leave a like in this video as well if you enjoyed it. And of course, you can always hit that bell to be notified whenever we have new videos drop. But thank you guys so much for watching today. And as always, we'll see you again real soon.